hi folks today I'm going to show you how we can speed up our Windows 10 computer or computer with Windows 10 now the very first thing um, actually there's about um, five things that we could do to make your computer with Windows 10 a little faster now the very first thing we're going to try is the registry hack um, let me go straight to the uh, task now the very first thing you want to do is hit the Windows key plus R button so Windows key is uh, located generally it's located at the bottom left hand side of the keyboard so hit uh, so press and hold the Windows key and hit the R button now here type in the word resident so let me go back resident R E G E D I T and hit the enter button. Now you would actually get this screen. So here what I want you to do is go to H key local machine. So let me click on the HP local machine. There's a small arrow on the left hand side. Click on that arrow, it'll expand it for you. Now find an icon or a menu called system so let me go and find a menu called system there we go generally it's uh, not expanded but I want you to click on it and expand it so now find a menu called current control set now if I come further down oh, I'm sorry so if we hit, uh, we've actually selected the current control set there. Let's expand this icon called control further down. Click on the session manager. Um, let me first expand it. <coughs> so here should be something called session manager. There we go so let me expand the session manager and finally select something called memory management which is this one here so if I click on the memory management there find an icon called clear piece file at shutdown so here just when you select the memory management you would see a list of all these icons so here there's an icon called clear page file at shutdown. I want you to double click on it and here change its value to 1. So at the moment by default there's 0 in here so I want you to change that to 1. Hit the OK button and there we go. We're all done. So I'm going to close it. Now that's done. So actually we were meant to restart the computer but I'll just carry on with uh, the second option which is second task which is to fix the driver issue so I want you to open the device manager and scan for hardware changes so here on the search button click on device manager type device manager you will see the screen double click on it and you will see the screen now I want you to select right at the top and there's an icon called scan for hardware changes so I want you to click on this there we go so at the moment my computer um, all the hardwares they, they all have they, they don't have any issues with any uh, hardware drivers so you you did not actually see any changes here when I click on the scan for changes generally if there is any issues with any of your hardware drivers it would basically um, just download the recent um, updates and it'll update it for you so that's done for me so I'm going to do the fourth option which is to disable startup programs now I want again I want you to hit the Windows key and R button so Windows key and R M S C O N F I G When this window opens up I want you to go to the startup button here click on open task manager 
and on the startup tab you'd see a list of all the programs that are meant to start when you start your computer so I want you to go down and just make sure on my computer I want this to be enabled I want Google Drive to be enabled at the startup I'm gonna leave Viber is enabled, Dropbox enabled too, Slack enabled but I don't want these programs to be enabled when I start my computer so I want you to right click, By the, at the moment I've already disabled it so by default you'll see all the unwanted programs enabled but I want you to go down and disable all the programs that you want that you don't want at when, the com when your computer starts. You can always uh, open these softwares uh, once the computer is switched on so this saves a lot of memory uh, and the CPU uses. So once done, I'm going to close this, hit the OK button, and that's done. So I've done the first part. I've done the second part. I've ignored the third. Now, I've done the fourth. Now the last, the very last um, task is to defragment your hard drive so for this I want you to hit the Windows key and R button one more time so this opens up now I want you to type the word D F R G U I and hit the OK button now this opens up so as you can see the status of my C drive is okay and it was defragmented five days ago so it looks pretty okay same with the e drive and same with the rest so I'm okay with this in your case um, if uh, if your if your drive has never been defragmented uh, I mean uh, defragmented just hit the click button and you can always go for optimize and then it's going to start defragmenting there we go that's done I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same with e drive as well hit the optimize button now go to the third option optimize again so that's done zero days and you can also go to the change settings and run a schedule so you can do that on a daily weekly or monthly basis uh, I'll just stick with weekly option and I'll just hit the OK button close there we go so now as you can see we've done the first second fourth and fifth option now once I do this um, my computer should be much more faster so uh, folks I'm just gonna uh, leave it here um, if there's any questions I'm, I hope you guys do it yourself and um, I can guarantee you your computer will be much more faster compared to uh, prior to uh, this uh, this state so I'm gonna um, wrap up the video I hope um, I hope everything is clear uh, if there's any questions if there's any um, suggestions uh, please do comment uh, on our on our YouTube channel or just underneath our video and I'll and I'll try and answer to your uh, questions thank you very much um, have a great evening.